yeah, let's go. And then it was fun. Yeah. I mean, Have you ever yeah. witnessed gangster David Choi? Or heard any gangster <laughs> David Choi stories? Dude, I know I know a crazy David Choi story, dude. But I don't know if I can say it. <laughs> it's one of the funniest fucking things. I don't even sure if he fucking remembers. But then at the same time, I think... So it's so funny because in, in a stand-up set... Oh, shit, Popo, baby. But <laughs> in a stand-up set, I wanted to tell this David Choi story. Because yeah. number one, if you guys don't know David Choi, David Choi is fucking hilarious. He's hilarious. He's one of he the, is. He's one of the funnest people to go out and hang yes. out with. Yeah. And, and he's so chill. Yeah. He's chill ass mother. And he's fucking real as fuck. Yeah. 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 Out of all the YouTube... YouTubers that I've met that I thought would have been really well kept together. This fool is a disaster. And I like <laughs> <laughs> but what's awesome is his persona is like squeaky clean. Yeah. I just play this folk but music he is and a I sing. Thug. Yeah, this fool one time. You know, I'm gonna just tell the story anyways. And if, <laughs> David, if you want me to take this down, I'm still not gonna do it. So, <laughs> so this one time we were out in K Town, right? And mind you, like David is a funny fucking dude. I love. I, every time I see this dude, I get really happy. But David was a little blasted you know korean people we drink everybody has fun yeah but as when we're at k-town we're walking by right and there's this girl wearing this flannel shirt next to her boyfriend and david's walking down we're all drunk and david goes what's up flannel shirt and the dude goes yo what's up man you talking to my girl he goes i shit you not this is what david david goes from zero to 100 he goes yeah i'm talking to your girl bitch Whoa. <laughs> bro, bro we all stop we're like that's not right, dude. <laughs> you know, like what the fuck? And the guy looks at everybody else and he goes, "Did he just call me a bitch?" Because <laughs> he doesn't know what to say. Yeah, yeah. Right. Because once you're at hundred. Yeah, and then <laughs> David, out of nowhere, unnecessary, he goes, "Yeah, I called you a bitch, bitch." Oh my and the god. And the dude is still fucking confused, and he goes, "What do I do?" He goes, "Yo, did your friend just call me a bitch again?" Yeah. Right. <laughs> the dude's just like and then you know abe abe comes up he just kind of grabs david away and david's like five three two by the way feisty as fuck yeah and then, it's always the short guys that get the everybody else in trouble dude and then abe kind of grabs him back he goes yo calm down and as david's in the distance he still goes he still somehow managed to squeeze what's up bitch <laughs> <laughs> off in the distance and this dude gets fucking angry he's getting mad now he goes yo i'm gonna fuck up your friend and his girlfriend's trying to calm him down or whatever he should have done it earlier dude, what the fuck and a brawl's about to go out and i shit you not one of his friends come comes in the guy's friend comes up and he goes yo 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 chill 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 cool 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 it's whatever it's cool it's cool he tries to squash the beef and as he squashes the beef he comes to the david he goes yo david Yo, I'm a big fan, man. Yo, can I get a picture real quick? <laughs> and he takes a selfie with David and he takes his fucking friend away. David's fucking wild, dude. Damn. I called you. Yeah, I called He's you. He's lucky bitch. that guy wasn't bitch. crazy. You know, I think I think he would have got swung at if it just didn't come out out of nowhere. And it was so funny. It was yeah. kind of funny because it was so unnecessary. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because David was in the wrong. He was like hitting on the dude's girlfriend as he's walking next to him. Yeah. And out of nowhere, he just goes. Yes. Oh, yes. It was up to your girl, bitch. Damn. She threw me off. Dude, David's fucking funny, man. Do you think? Uh, you know what? What do you think about all this? Like YouTube people calling each other out for fights and stuff. Oh, I mean, definitely. You could. You you already know people are doing it because it's the hot thing to do. Yeah. I just think it's just a really dumb thing to do because you're actually gonna get hit. Yeah. Some of these people, but they're they're planning it out. Don't like the the recent one with fucking Logan oh, Paul. Oh, they're and all that they're stuff. still doing them too. There's a few other kids that are gonna box that are on yeah, YouTube because oh, they are. It makes money. Yeah. Wait, which ones are they? I don't know. I saw somebody training with uh, Roy Roy Jones Jones Jr. It was another youtube kid that's gonna box or some shit wow how do they have access to these people i don't well they got money oh they got mad money you you, you think these fucking um huge boxing stars are gonna say no if they're gonna charge them like 400 500 bucks a session yeah yeah they're not gonna say they don't give a fuck they're just gonna train them they know yeah. they're gonna get their ass beat that's why i didn't really care to watch the logan paul and the ksi one just because i like boxing as a sport yeah right i'm not there to watch some low-level amateurs fight not to say that they could have fucked somebody up for sure if they're just if they're just in the middle of the street those two will fuck somebody up yeah but if i'm trying to watch a boxing event i'm not gonna watch two low-level amateurs fight so but don't you want to see them get hit in the face i would want them to get hit in the face with somebody who can really do damage to them oh you know what yeah, i mean because yeah, yeah. those two weren't going to do much damage to each other mm. it's all planned that's what that's what i want people to wail on each other yeah like they hate each other like it would and be that's great. what i i did I, I never saw that i mean for sure with logan paul too i mean the guy i think the guy wrestled in high school yeah that's I, what i heard yeah. yeah i think he wrestled in high school and he's yeah. a big dude man he's like six yeah. three or some shit like that yeah and that ksi kid's like taller than me he's like six one six two or some shit but yeah there's some big beefy dudes so if you see them fight they'll, they will crack each other but when i saw a little clip of them fight i was like this is the worst fight i've ever seen in my life it was just it wasn't entertaining if someone challenged you you think you would fight them it depends on who it is it depends on who it is and how long i have time to train 
Oh, so, oh it, so you would actually entertain if, the if idea. I could make, if I could just make, boxing or kickboxing or anything, I would do kickboxing. Uh, if I if I would I would do kickboxing. I have to know who it is. We have to be around the same weight. We would have to be the same weight. We'll do it by weight class, and then on top most of that, most likely you're heavier than them. I know. <laughs> and I would like to. I would like to. I need to train though. So I I would literally drop it. You know how my personality is. Yeah, yeah, I would yeah, drop yeah, yeah. everything. To oh, win. shit! I would drop everything. Move to Thailand for two months. Who? It would have to be amateur rules. So we need headgear and shin guards though. Oh, who would you fuck. fight? I don't know. Somebody no. I really <laughs> You know who I fight. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, but you don't even need to train for that. Yeah, that's, ah. that's different. Um, but it would it would be fun. I mean, I would prefer to fight somebody that I like, though, because I want it to be I want like competitive competitive. You want to fight someone you like or somebody that I just don't have any emotions for. I want to fight mm. someone I hate because if I want to fight somebody, <laughs> <laughs> if we were to just fight somebody we hate, we could just meet up and just duke it out. All oh, right. Right. You know, yeah, like, just knock, knock on, on the, the door. Yeah, we'll yeah, knock yeah. on the door. We'll have some shit. I'll take a rock and I'll smash your face open. Yeah. <laughs> Ghetto style. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but if it's peacemaker style, yeah, peacemaker <laughs> style. <laughs> But if it was something where it was like competitive, it would be nice. It would be somebody that I could fight that I know like loves the sport as much as I love the sport. And then we could see where we go from there. And it would be kind of nice to clash and see what happens. Yeah. Um, but number one, I won't be able to because Mary will never, ever let me. Mm. I think it's like she. So Mary, what people don't know about Mary, she hates violence of any sort. What does she consider violence? Is football violence to her? Because my like, dad can't even watch football. Oh, oh really? your dad doesn't she like watch football? football. I mean, yeah. she could watch MMA here and there. Yeah. But when she sees violence in the like in front of her face, she fucking hates it. So when we used to get into fights back in the day, like arguments, and I would raise my voice and yell, it would actually like like would scare her a bit because she would see that a lot from her dad when she oh. was younger. So her dad, you know, just a Korean parent, just being really loud and yeah. Yeah, breaking shit in the house, which is very Asian. Yeah, she hates seeing that shit. So when she sees that, it actually scares her. So if she sees me even doing Muay Thai and then we do something too serious, she fucking hates it. She doesn't want to see that side of you. She doesn't like it either. Like she when she when she saw me get super angry once, it, it almost made her want to break break up with oh, me. Oh shit. So like that's one of those things that I don't really want to gamble with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even if it's like, okay, well it's one thing, but for forever in the rest of her life, she will remember that one time I went in and I got my face bashed in, and it's gonna fuck with her head a lot. Then you gotta do another one to redeem yourself, <laughs> <laughs> or you win, or or I win. I just knock the person out. But yeah. then, you know, but you guys already know what it takes to be a fighter, and I don't know if I had that. It mental takes discipline. a lot. It takes a lot, yeah. man. Because uh. it's not even just the whole you know drilling and training constantly, getting enough hands to get in th- into that ring to fight. There's the conditioning part of it, right? Yeah. And after your conditioning, you gotta get proper sleep, proper training. How many how many how many times are you reviewing what you're doing it's just cyclical over over and over and it's over. a full-time job and even then you're still not ready yeah, yeah so it's, it's a full-time like, job because you're gonna fight i want to i really want to but it's I, a bucket I, list yeah it's a bucket list thing but then i keep going back and forth like there's a side of me that's like oh it's a bucket list thing you really want to do it and then like and it what i like about fighting it, it's kind of like the culmination of Everything I like about athletics and sports, like you have to do your strength and conditioning. You have to run and do your road work. You have to do the yeah. drilling and the technique. You have to do the sparring and get the sparring in. Like there's a lot of aspects that you have to train. And so I really like that. But then the other side of me that kind of scares me a little bit is like there's all this head trauma people with CTE. Oh, for sure. And then I'm like, I'm a business owner. I'm a dad. Do I really need to have CTE and trauma to the head? Is that the mm-hmm. smartest thing for me to do just for a bucket list? So I keep like I I probably debate myself like every single day about it. Like if I once I get into jujitsu jujitsu uh, jiu-jitsu tournaments for 